Hi, Chef Johnny V here from the Las Cosas Cooking School in Santa Fe, New Mexico. During these tough economic times, it's a challenge to cook delicious gourmet meals on a shoestring budget. So today I'm going to show you what I call my scallopini bailout. We're going to make three delicious scallopini dishes using relatively inexpensive ingredients and the recipes are quick and easy. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Let's talk about scallopini. Scallopini is actually a form of the word a scallop, which is a thin slice of something. So when we're making our chicken scallopini, we're going to thinly slice chicken breast, boneless and skinless, and our pork is actually just a boneless pork chop that we're going to thinly slice, bread, and then saute. So to prepare my chicken for my chicken piccata, I have a boneless skinless breast, which I've trimmed all of the connective tissue off. You don't want that there. And I'm actually going to slice this on the bias. So rather than slicing it straight up and down, I'm going to do it on the diagonal. This is going to create what's called a scallop of chicken. So that's about a oh, quarter of an inch thick. Then I'm going to take one of my uh, meat mallets and I am going to use the smooth side. I'm going to put a sliced or a, a baggie over it just so I don't get ch chicken schmutz all down the front of my stomach. And we're going to pound these until they're about an eighth of an inch thick. Now don't get them too, too thin because you won't be able to get them off the board. Okay, want to move your knife so that that doesn't fly up and stick in the fork. Okay, just going to pound these. Doesn't really require much uh, energy. It's just a simple. Okay, important step before we bread them, we do want to season them on both sides with salt and pepper. And I'm going to use a little bit of kosher salt. Otherwise, that salt's going to fall off once it's been um, cooked. Remember to turn your meat with one hand and go into the salt with the other so you don't contaminate your uh, salt. Okay, so I'm going to turn those. Now in my saute pan, I actually have a mixture of olive oil and butter. By diluting the butter with a little bit of olive oil, it's going to give us a little more sauteing time before that uh, butter starts to brown. So I've got my pans pretty well heated up and sizzling. And now the breading technique. To get ready for your piccata or your marsala or your milanese, you want to set up a breading station. So I have plain all-purpose flour, a couple of beaten eggs, and for my piccata and my marsala, it's actually only going to be those two ingredients. When I do my milanese, I will actually add breadcrumbs to the third dip before it goes into the saute pan. Okay, so I'm going to just very lightly dust our chicken with flour into the egg wash. We'll call this an egg wash. Let that extra egg uh, drip off and then right into my prepared pan. And this is actually a quick and easy recipe because you could have this chicken all ready to go and then close to the time when you're ready to eat dinner, just get out the pans and uh, start sautéing. Now, there's a term called a la minute in cooking which refers to a sauce that's actually made right in the pan. You don't make a piccata sauce in advance. It's actually made after the chicken is prepared. So what we'll do is we'll sauté our chicken breast and then I'm going to take it out of the pan, put it on a plate, and then make the sauce right in the pan. And that sauce is made with lemon juice, capers, chopped shallots. Very simple, and it's going to be cooked in the pan, and then the chicken goes back in and you're done. Same thing with our marsala, except with our marsala recipe, I'm going to add and saute some sliced mushrooms along with the chicken or on a, at a separate time, and then those mushrooms are going to become part of the sauce as well. So when we come back, we'll have our chicken sauteed and we'll finish our piccata sauce and our marsala sauce right in the pan a la minute. Okay, let's finish our scallopini a la minute. For my piccata, what I'm going to do, I have my scallopini already sauteed. I did that over medium heat and I do want to hear a sizzle while that's cooking. That's cooked through. And to finish the sauce, I'm going to take some chopped shallots, which of course is in the onion family, and then I'm going to create my sauce right in the pan. I'm going to squeeze some fresh lemon juice in there and some delicious capers, which I love. They're nice and salty and they add a wonderful flavor to dishes. Okay, now we do want to swirl our scallopini back in the sauce so that it's 
nice and coated with those wonderful flavors. So I'm going to use my tongs, which I consider a chef's best friend, and we're going to swirl our scallopini around in there and really let it coat, coat the chicken so that all that fabulous sauce is on the chicken. Okay, that can simmer a little bit. Now we're going to finish our marsala. So I've sauteed some mushrooms, and I'm going to really kind of deglaze the pan, if you will, with some fresh squeezed orange and some marsala. Now marsala is a fortified wine, meaning it's wine with other uh, herbs and spices added to it. You do want to look for dry marsala, okay? And that's pretty readily available everywhere now. You're going to let that reduce down, meaning it's going to evaporate a little bit. You turn this up to high now to do that. And then we're going to add our, our mushrooms back to that and our, sorry, let me wipe my hands here. We'll add our mushrooms back and then our scallopini. While that's reducing, for our milanese, I've made a simple tomato sauce and the recipe will be on our website. And we're just going to serve a little bit of our tomato sauce over our wonderful milanese. You could hold this in a warm oven to keep it, keep it ready to go. So I'll add my saute. Oh, this smells so delicious. All of these flavors. Okay. And now we will put our chicken back into this gorgeous sauce. I'll tell you a little tip. Restaurants add mushrooms to recipes like this to make it seem like you're getting more chicken, or especially if it's veal. But of course the mushrooms are like little sponges and they're going to soak up all this fabulous sauce. Okay, let that look at this, how gorgeous. Okay, so we're going to take pull this out and then of course we want to make sure we serve this covered with this gorgeous piccata sauce. Okay, so we'll spoon that over. This is going to get a little garnish of some chopped parsley. Oh, look at that. I can't wait to taste these. Okay, for the marsala, that looks great. That sauce is thickening up nicely. Pull this out and let this thicken up just a little bit. Yum. I wish we had smell of it because I'd love us to be able to smell these sauces. And then right at the end, Chef Johnny B's greatest secret tip of the day, we're going to drizzle some truffle oil over this marsala. And this is going to really take it to a completely other level. Yummy. Okay. And for my milanese, just some fresh tomato sauce, a little fresh basil, garlic, and olive oil. All of it looks fabulous. A little fresh basil on there, some parsley there. You've been watching Cooking with Johnny V. I've enjoyed showing you scallopini, and we'll see you next time. Gotta try this. Perfect.